Hello people, on this video I'm gonna talk to you guys about the difference between a single integral and a double integral. But first let's ask ourselves what does it mean to integrate? When we have a function of one variable f of x, the integral of the function over an interval over an interval that belongs to its domain gives us the area of the function. When we evaluate the integral from a to b of the function, what we get is this shaded region here, which is numerically equal to the area below the curve. From the curve, okay, from the curve to the x axis, okay, and here we have an interval which belongs to the domain of the function. However, when we want to talk about functions of two variables, the domain of the function is not a line here, okay, is not a fragment of line as it is here. For a function of two variables, the domain is a region, is a region that belongs to the xy plane, okay? So, here we have values for x, and here we have values for y, and the domain of the function is going to be points of x and y coordinates. Here we have only uh, the x coordinate and the domain is going to be points along this line. However, here the domain are points that belong to the xy plane. And what does it mean to integrate this uh, below this function here? The integration below this function here is not going to give an area. It's going to be a volume, okay? The volume of the solid is bounded by this region here in the plane and by the very function on the top. Okay, so here we have an area and here we have a volume. We integrate over an interval that belongs to the x uh, axis and the, the, this interval belongs to the domain of the function. And here we have a region, and the region belongs to the domain of the function. And in this case, the domain of the function is the xy plane. And when we integrate, when we have a double integration, instead of having an area, we have a volume bounded by this region d and the function on top. Okay, so the double integral is going to produce a volume. My friends, now let's uh, solve an example to better visualize what's going on. We are going to integrate over this region here. We are going to integrate over this region here. You can see that our function, the function that's going to be above here in the z axis, the function that's going to be above much like this function here is x plus y. f of x, y is equal to x plus y. And this shaded region here, that I represented here, is much like this domain here, okay? So this shaded region is only the domain of the function, the domain from which we are going to be taking points. And the function itself is not this region here. The function itself is above here somewhere, much like this function here. All right, my friends. Uh, so uh, we have to uh, firstly understand the regions of integration, the regions that bound this function here. We can do this. For example, let's divide this. You can see that this this region here is equal to this region here. What we are going to do, the technique that we are going to use, we are going to calculate the integral for this part and we are going to multiply it by 2 to cover the other part. So the, uh, we are going to only calculate for this part and then multiply by 2 because this is symmetrical, alright? So for this part here, x, x goes from 0, 0 here, to 1. So x is bounded by 0 and 1. And how about y? A very common mistake 
a person, a person may say that y is also bounded by 0 and 1. This is a very common mistake that I myself used to make when I was studying this, but it is not true, okay? We are not going to put 1 here because what's bounding y is not 1. y is getting to this point here, and the boundary for y is 1 minus x, okay? This this line here can be represented by 1 minus x and this is the boundary that we are going to use. So to calculate the volume we are going to use x from 0 to 1 and y from 0 to 1 minus x, x plus y, dy, dx. This is what we are going to use to calculate the volume below this curve and bounded by this region here. Okay, so we are going to do that. How can we do that? We are going to integrate in y first, then this is going to be from 0 to 1 in x, and when we integrate in y, we we put xy here, xy, and here it's going to be a half of y squared. We are going to evaluate it from 0 to 1 minus x, and dx is here. Okay, my friends, we are almost finishing, we are almost getting there, okay, so the volume is going to be from 0 to 1 in x, uh, we are going to substitute this in here because instead of putting y, we are going to put 1 minus x. We don't need to write 0 because if we put 0 here, it becomes 0. If we put 0 here, it becomes 0. So it's going to be x times 1 minus x plus 1 plus uh, 1 and a half. 1 minus x squared, okay, and this is going to be in dx. Yes, my friends, that's what we are going to do, okay? Keep watching, and we are going to continue calculating this, and now it is easy. Now it is simply mathematics. The idea is already here. I think that everybody already understood what I'm talking about. The idea is already here. And we just need to finish it. The volume of the solid is going to be from 0 to 1 in x. x times uh, 1 is x. x times x is x squared but negative. Negative x squared. And plus here, we need to develop this product here. It is going to be a half of uh, 1 minus 2x plus x squared. And it all evaluated in dx. Okay, we are going to integrate it all in x. Okay, we are almost getting there, my friends. Very good, very good. Now what we need to do is to, to do this, we are going to integrate from 0 to 1 in x. Here we have 1x minus x squared plus um, a half here. We are going to multiply here. Uh, a half times negative 2 is negative x plus... 1 and a half x squared, it all calculated for dx. Okay, here what we have is this, v is going to be equal from 0 to 1, okay, we have, um, we have a negative x here, with a, with a positive x here, we can cancel them out, and we have here x squared and uh, negative x squared we are going to have a half negative a half of x squared plus 
a half here okay dx do you guys agree with what I'm doing okay I can make mistakes if I make a mistake please correct me I'm going to erase the here so you guys will see better and what uh, we can do is to simply put this half to this side it is gonna be a half of the integral from 0 to 1 of negative f squared plus 1 okay dx and am I right? negative here positive here yes it is right it is right not wrong okay are you guys following? are you guys following what I'm doing? and here we need to integrate in x when we integrate in x here it becomes it's gonna be like this it's gonna be negative a third of x cubed and here it is gonna be uh, x positive and we evaluate it from 0 to 1 and v here is gonna be a half of I'm going to substitute, if I put 0 here it becomes 0, if I put 0 here it becomes 0, we don't need to worry about the 0, we can simply worry about the 1, we put 1 here it becomes a third, and we put 1 here it becomes 1, positive. Ok, 1 minus a third is 2 thirds, isn't it? So it's this, times 2 thirds we cut 2 with 2 it becomes 1 third however if you remember we calculated for this area only we did not consider the other area but you can see they are symmetrical and we need just to multiply by 2 so our final our final answer is 2 thirds because we needed to multiply it by 2 so the volume is 2 thirds my friends this was the video that I wanted to make I hope you guys enjoyed it goodbye